That wasn't my outro. What the f hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm here with Nikki B from NikkiBGolf.com. Today we did a weatherproof inspired look. Um, something super simple that you can wear on the go or out on the golf course. So if you'd like to see how we got this look, then let's jump right in. Let's get started. So starting off with a fresh and clean face, I'm going to coat her face with a thin layer of sunscreen. So important, especially if you'll be on the sun all day. Next, I'm using this as a good strong primer for her eyelids. Going in with a fluffy brush and peach smoothie from Makeup Geek to act as a light and soft transition shade. I'm going to put this in the crease and then blend out. Then, with a little more of a dense brush, I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee, which is a little bit more brown. It's super natural looking eyeshadow. I'm going to be putting that in her crease and then back in with a fluffy brush with no extra product to blend out. Can you guess what we're talking about? You'll see at the end of the video. Hee <laughs> hee. For our final eyelid shade, I'm using Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear. We're obviously going for a supernatural look, like you tried, but you didn't, right? And then blending it all together. Okay, so I lied. So we're using one more shade to make you look awake and alive. This is Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek. These are all by Makeup Geek. Sorry, I didn't plan that. But you're going to put that on the brow bone and the inner tear duct. Then quickly and lightly fill in those brows if needed. I'm using the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but any brow product of your choice will work. Okay, moving on to the face. This brand new Milani 2-in-1 foundation is perfect for a day in the sun. Not only is it going to give you a full coverage, but it's lightweight, sweat proof, long wearing, and water resistant. For combination skin types, it's an oil free formula, so it's going to work well with many skin types. Then, back to our concealer that we use to prime the eyes, we're going to conceal under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, forehead, chin, and then blend it out. And yes, she said she felt like a warrior. <laughs> And remember to blot underneath the eyes. Um, you want to try to avoid premature wrinkles as much as possible. So don't rub, it could look streaky. Make sure you're blotting because that skin is very tender. So you have to be gentle. And make sure you take your time to blend this out because we don't want it to crease during the day. So take your time and be easy on yourself. And to make sure we don't crease during the day, I'm using my very favorite palette, Shade Light Palette by Kat Von D to set. The middle shade called Lyric is my preferred shade, clearly I've hit lots of pan. And I'm just putting it right over the concealer to help it from settling in your fine lines throughout the day. Following that, I'm going to set the face with this Fit Me Powder by Maybelline. Just a thin layer will do. You don't want too much on your skin, just enough to keep you from getting sunburnt but still looking matte and put together all day. Next, I'm gonna bronze her up using my favorite drugstore bronzer by Rimmel. A little goes a long way with this one, but it's gonna give her face a really pretty bronzed goddess glow, especially when the sun hits it. Now you're gonna place this under the cheekbones and around the perimeter of the face. And last but not least, my favorite part, highlighting. This beautiful golden highlight by Becca will make her shine. I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. <laughs> Molly's having a makeup orgasm. <laughs> I always do. Ah! Look at that. Everyone, you need to get this. Yep. Today. You're just gonna place it on the high points of the cheekbones, at the tip of the nose, chin, and above the eyebrows to give dimension. Then moving on with mascara, just coat those lashes with a little bit of mascara. And Nicolette has trouble with her mascara falling underneath her eyes during the day. So the trick for this is using waterproof mascara on the bottom to avoid that. Now moving on, we have a couple lip options. The first being this Mojito Lip Balm, which is going to help your lips stay moisturized and protect them from the sun all day. 
Then we have a special new and upcoming brand called Scorch. They sent us four shades to try just in time for this video. Look how cute this packaging is! It came with a handwritten note by the owner. And these, they're made for the active girl who wants a bold look no matter what she's doing. These are paraben and cruelty free and rich with antioxidants. First we tried this adorable lip cream in the color Pink Smoke. It was so cute, so creamy, and moisturizing. And then we also had to try a lipstick, and this was called Spice, which also wore the same. It had a really creamy application, and Nick said it was really moisturizing on the lip. Christine also sent two other cute and fun colors, a lipstick called Energy and a lip cream called Neon. So we thought we'd mention those as well. All right, that's all we have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this look, and make sure you check out her website, NikkiBGolf.com. I will leave it right here and also it'll be linked down below. So thanks for visiting and stay tuned for my next video. Bye. <gasps> why, did he, why did he say I love you to both of them? He's so stupid. You shut up, I, I don't wanna, just stop talking about it. I want Lauren B to win and I think really? she will win. When she stepped out of the limo, he like, it was love at first sight. Uh, well, I I think think then. Then. No, I'm doing that at the end. <laughs> no. Uh. Don't we don't talk to you guys. No. <laughs> you, no. you just listen to us. No. When in doubt, birdie out. Oh, sh Perfect. Peace. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you later. Freaking did it. <laughs>